expo kit prizes at the end of the presentation. Do you guys want to wait a couple more minutes to see if anyone else shows up or do you want to start now? Uh, I think we can wait three more minutes. Uh, hello, my name is Laura Cadenas. I am the SUE Expo Chair. Um, yeah, I'm going to wait until 2.05, but then we are ready to start. Okay, that sounds great. Thank you so much. So hello everyone, uh, welcome to the SUI Expo 2021. We have prepared a series of PowerPoint presentation where we are going to show you uh, a personality in a women personality in the field, in some of the fields that we have at the engineering college. And we are, we have also presented some experiments that are related to those fields. So first, I'm going to start with the with the chemical engineering field. I hope you enjoy. It. Can you hear the audio? We can see it. There is also audio playing. Can you hear the, the audio from the slides? I can't hear the audio. Okay. Oh, give me one second. Sorry about that.
sorry about that. Um, does anyone of you know how to share the audio from your computer? If you, I think if you just go in present mode and leave your mic unmuted and then just click the sound button in the bottom right corner of each of the slides, I think that might work. Were you able to hear that? No. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to ignore it. one of the most uh, important chemical engineers. She's the representative of the field. She was born in July 25, 1956. She has a bachelor's degree in mechanical and aerospace engineering from Princeton University and a doctoral degree in chemical engineering from the University of California at Berkeley. In 19, in 2018, she was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for pioneer, pioneering the evolution of enzymes from the pharmaceutical to renewable, renewable fuels. One out of five women to receive the Nobel Prize in 117 years, making her the first American woman. One of his famous quote, one of her famous quote is science and technology are going to be the basis of many of the solutions to social problems. So now we are going to be presenting an experiment related to the chemical engineering and also it's a good um, relation to the times that we are living right now. Basically, here we have a bowl of water, soap, and pepper, and we are going to show how soap repels the germs. In this case, the germs are going to be pepper. Right now, I'm putting the pepper in the water. And with my finger, I am going to put into a soap and then get close to the pepper. As you can see, the pepper spreads out. This happens because the 
water and soap they repel each other so the pepper is very um thing it's very light so it stays on top of the water but as the water gets away the pepper goes down so that's why it's important for us in these times of COVID, wash our hands to take all the germs away. Do you have any questions? No? Okay. So let's go to the next experiment and presentation. So now we are going to be presenting uh, a famous computer engineer, and it's going to be presented by Caitlin Singer. Hi, my name is Caitlin Singer, and one famous computer engineer, her name is Grace Hopper, and she's referred to as the queen of code. And on the, the image, to the right is just a drawing of her dealing with what was computers or computers back then behind her. So Grace Hopper, she was born on December 9th, 1906 to, and she died on January 1st, 1992. She earned her bachelor's degree at Vassar University and she got a master's degree and her doctorate degree in mathematics at Yale University. So in 1943, after receiving her doctorate degree at Yale, she joined the Navy WAVES. So the WAVES is an acronym for Women Accepted for Voluntary emergency service. And while in the Navy, Hopper and her team produced the Mark I, which was the earliest prototype of the computer. So when she joined the Navy wave, she was assigned to a computer task force because of her background, as in her degrees that she earned. And then fun fact, she actually invented the term bug while doing um, research at Harvard, she discovered, she coined the term um, computer bug, and that's the term that we use today to refer to computer malfunctions. So, here's a famous quote from her, and it goes like this To me, programming is more than an important practical art. It is also a gigantic undertaking in the foundations of knowledge. And the image that you see on the screen is her at her time in the Navy. And you can't really tell from the photo, but she's actually the only woman in that photo. All the other, she's just surrounded by men. So she was a pioneer in the industry, not only because she worked on the first ever I guess, ancestor to the computer, but she was also the only woman there. So here's a video of, it's a video of a code running and the code's going to create a little scenic view. So this was made using code.org and it's basically running through functions and 
as you can see, the cursor is creating these images based on the code that's scrolling up and down on the right. And this is just one of the examples of what code can do. I know in one of my math classes, I use code to solve an equation. So checking if two equals two is right or what's X plus two and inserting any variable for X. So code can really do anything, anything that you tell it. And I just thought this was really interesting because I've never seen code act like an artist before. And the video is kind of long. I tried to speed it up as fast as I could, but I didn't want to miss. I didn't want you to miss all the creation part of it. So right now, the sunbeams, the sky, the clouds were already made, and right now the code's making the flowers, and then. It's going to make little bunnies at the end. Here are the bunnies. So that was the end. Any questions? What was the website you use again? I used code.org. So it's kind of like uh, it's really helpful for people who are not familiar with um, coding. I am not familiar with coding and it really helped me learn. And it's really fun because they have sample codes that you can just mimic to get used to the idea of programming and coding in general. That's great. Any other questions? OK, so now we are going to be presenting an experiment and a personality from civil engineering. And this presentation is going to be conducted by Alexia. Hi, everyone. So I'm presenting on civil engineering. So this is just a brief definition of what civil engineering is, just in case someone is here that doesn't already know. Civil engineers basically um, create the infrastructure that we see around us. So everything from buildings to bridges, civil engineers are in charge of that. Um, and some important jobs or things you could do with a degree in civil engineering our roads and railways, airports, bridges, harbors, water and sewage systems.
So our woman in science highlight is Sarah Guppy. She was the first woman to patent a bridge. Um, she also uh, mentored other persons who created like more complex bridge systems. Uh, she also had different um, inventions such as a teas made which cooked eggs and she also created a system which helped prevent soil erosion on railways. I can actually play that video um, on my end if that's fine. Sorry. Okay. Let me know if you can share your screen. Yeah. Mm. Are you seeing? No. No. Okay. Is that good now? It's a little long. I don't know if I could speed it up. This is just the assembly for a um, DIY hydraulic bridge. Okay, so that's it. Um, how do I get back to this? <laughs> oh. 
Okay. And then these are just other bridge types. Um, so you have an arc bridge, which is like a semicircle with support systems on top of it. Then there's a beam, a tight arc, which is like um, a combo, and then a suspension bridge, a cantilever, and a cable stayed bridge. Are there any questions? Um, the video is pretty self-explanatory, I guess. Okay, well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Looks very good. Okay, so now our next uh, and final experiment is going to be about electrical engineers. Okay, so our famous electrical engineer is Edith Clark. She was born on February 10th, 1883, and she died um, on October 29th, 1959. She was the first woman employed as an electrical engineer, and she was also the first professor of electrical engineer in our country. She went to MIT and earned her master's degree in electrical engineering in June 1919. Edith Clark was the first woman to present before American Institute of Electrical Engineers. She wrote and published a variety of different papers in her field. She was very influential uh, for the field of electrical engineer and she is also a great inspiration for many young girls to uh, follow her path. One, has, one of her famous quotes is, there is no demand for women engineers, as such there are for women doctors, but there is always a demand for everyone who can do a good piece of work. We have created a video presenting how we can build an electric circuit, a very simple electric circuit, to turn on an LED light. Here we have um, a breadboard, an LED light, a resistor, a cable, a battery connector, and a 9 volt battery. So first, we are going to connect the LED into the breadboard. So the longest side of the LED is the positive side, which will go to the positive uh, source of the, of the breadboard. And the shorter side is the negative side, which will go into the breadboard, and we are going to connect the resistor in series with the LED. Then we connect a cable in series also with the resistor and to the negative source of the breadboard. Now we are connecting the, um, the battery connector. And once we connect the battery, you can see how the LED turn on. This is a very simple circuit, but with um, this breadboard, you can do a lot of stuff. 
you can design all kind of electric circuits uh, and you can also modulate um, circuits for programming. Do you have any questions? This is all what we prepare for today. Let us know if you have any question or you would like to see a video again.